This video is intended to help new users learn how to use Cyber Anatomy. When you first start Cyber Anatomy, this is the screen you'll be presented with. Obviously, as a new user, you'll want to click on this button. What's happening now is it's loading up all the components that it's needing. It's, uh, everything's being streamed to your computer. Now, when you click the New User button, what happens is, uh, well, the main difference between clicking the new, new User button and the Experienced User button is it simply starts with the Mentor window exposed and also the Anatomy Builder uh, expanded. These are to help you kind of get started uh, if you're new at this. The Mentor window is probably the most useful thing for a new user. It's, um, it's a context-sensitive um, help window. So you start out with some information in here, but the powerful thing about this tool is uh, if you select any button over here, say this button, you'll notice that the text inside the Mentor window changes. And it gives you all the information you need about that particular tool. And sometimes it even shows a little video. So if I want to learn about, say, the Explode button, I click on here, and you'll note that this has all changed to show the information about the Explode tool. Um, this works for pretty much all the buttons um, in the simulation. To turn on and off the Mentor window, you can click here. Over here you see the Anatomy Builder. This is the main way to uh, show and hide anatomy uh, in the simulation. I can uh, drag this around by clicking on the border. Most um, interfaces can be pulled around by clicking on the border. I can also expand and contract uh, the window by dragging on the bottom corner here. So here we are. I, I'm presented with all these regions and the subsystems for those regions. Um, if I wanted to, say, turn on uh, the skeleton of the back and spine, I would just simply come up here and click on that. And uh, it's um, adding the components needed to show, these, to show this region. And uh, there it is. So here is the, uh, the skeleton of the back and spine. If I wanted to add, say, the left upper limb, I could do that simply by clicking on here. And there it is. There's the uh, left upper limb and the back and spine. If I wanted to turn off anything, I can click here and turn it, back, and turn it off. So the green indicates that that particular object is shown, and uh, the white indicates that that is not shown. So why don't I turn on, I uh, will turn on the skeleton here. And what I'll do is I'll kind of compress this so uh, we have more room. <clears throat> Uh, essentially, you've got three main tool palettes over here. Up here, you've got a search bar. And then this is called our Explore window. This holds some tools here that are kind of more advanced. We're going to focus on uh, these three tool palettes here. And I'm just going to give you really a quick overview. You'll be able to find more movies on our, on our website to give you more in-depth details about each of these tools also. Um, we'll start out with the camera view, uh, changing your view, the Navigate panel here. This is probably the most, um, well, fundamental part. You, you're always going to want to change your view. Um, so essentially we've got an orbit, and what that does is that allows you to rotate by clicking on an object and then moving it around. You'll notice that it, it is important to click on an object that you want to rotate around. So for instance, if I want to rotate around the tailbone here, I click on it first, and then you'll notice that my point of rotation is around that object. So if I wanted to now look at the uh, shoulder here, I can click here, and you'll notice my point of rotation is around that point. Panning is similar. If you want to move the object around, uh, you, you click on the object and then you drag it to wherever you want it to go. Again, it's important to click on an object if you and place it where you want it. This is the zoom button. This brings the model closer to your face or to your view. Um, again, clicking on an object pulls it near you. So if I click on the tailbone there, I can pull it in. If I click on the shoulder here, I can pull it towards me. And if I clip on, click on the scapula here, I can pull it towards me like that. This is the home key. This resets your view. Essentially, it centers all the visible geometry. So let me, for an example, let me pull it into the hand here. Now, if I want to go back and get a, you know, a home view, what I can do is just simply click on this and all shown anatomy is centered. All right, so that's kind of basic camera navigation. Let me put this back up here. Now, let's look at the dissect tools here. Uh, the dissect are a list of, or are, are a, a bunch of tools that you can use to take apart the human body or to hide objects. 
So you've got, for instance, a peel tool. If we turn this on, I can grab any object and peel it away by clicking and dragging on it like this. The opposite of a peel is called the stick. So if I want to put an object back, I can click on this, and then I can stick the object back in. The next tool down is the hide tool. I can turn this on, and by clicking on something, I can hide it. The opposite of a hide is the unhide key, or the unhide button. And what that does is by clicking on this, it unhides the last object that was hidden. The explode tool is used to quickly remove groups of anatomy. So let's say I want to explode the ligaments off. By turning on the explode tool and then clicking on one of the ligaments, I can quickly explode all the ligaments away. So you can see they've all been kind of pushed out of the way. The opposite of explode is implode. So by clicking on this, I can bring everything in. This is the transparency tool. By turning this on and clicking on objects, I can make them transparent. And then the opposite of a transparent tool is the make opaque tool. So I can make things back to their original color with that tool. This is the select tool. This can be used in conjunction with any of the above tools. So for instance, if I do this and I select these and then grab the peel tool, I can peel everything that I've selected away. And then this is the undo button. By clicking on this, I undo the last action. If I undo like this, it brings them back in. There's a lot more functionality behind all these buttons, but we'll leave that for a different video. Finally, we'll look at the, um, the label palette here. And uh, you'll note that since you started as a, as a new user, another thing that's happened is the label tool itself is already turned on. This is what's showing whenever you point at something. So you see when I point at this, it tells me that's the left third rib. If I turn this off, I, don't, I no longer have that, that label pointing back. Um, this is the pin tool. To demonstrate this, let me pull this bone over here so we can kind of focus on it. And we'll zoom in on it here. What this does is this shows landmarks. So by turning this tool on and pointing, you'll see that the left humerus, the, the number 23 that's been listed right after it, tells you that there's 23 landmarks associated with this object. So by clicking on that object, the landmarks are shown. And these landmarks are simply pins stuck into the bone. And I can also use my label to point at those. So this is the medial lip of the left bicipital groove. To turn off the pins, you simply click on the button again, or on that particular object again. Let me go back home here. And let me bring everything in. The final thing you can do is let me is um, with the labeling toolkit is to mark objects. So by turning on this tool, what I can do is I can add kind of a permanent marker. So what I do is I, I enable the tool, and then I click and I drag, and it leaves a marker out there. So you click and drag it away and place that marker wherever you want. So here's some examples. Whoops, missed that one. Pull that out. And what you'll see is these markers are left in, in, uh, in the 3D space. If I want to modify those markers' positions, I enable the Mark tool again, and I can just click on this icon here and move them around. If I want to delete any of the marks, I turn on this tool, and I can click on the X's to get rid of those marks. So that's just kind of a general overview of how to use cyber anatomy um, as a new user. There's a lot more to learn. Um, we didn't touch on any of the explore, or explore tools over here. Uh, we'll save that for another video. Feel free to uh, check out our YouTube site at um, www.youtube.com backslash cyber anatomy or check out our website at www.cyber-anatomy.com.